Welcome back to Mr. Latham's AP Macroeconomics. Today we're going to talk about another part of basic economics, and that's factors of production, resources, and we're also going to talk about the circular flow model. First thing is the factors of production or resources. Okay, all these are literally the things businesses need in order to produce. Okay, first thing they need is capital. Okay, capital, don't think of money. Think of the actual things they need, a factory, um, uh, you know, equipment, computers, things like that. That's capital. It's not the money that it, you use to buy this, which is what we think of typically. It's the actual production items. Secondly is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is people that are willing to take risks, the owners. You know, you and I may work someplace, but if that place goes out of business, we don't have to, you know, we don't lose everything we own. We just don't have a job anymore. So entrepreneurs are the ones with the ideas, the ones that take risks. Land. We talk about land, it literally means anything that would be on God's green earth without humans. So, for instance, land is land, but it's also trees, it's water, and even oil. Whether we have people or not, all those things exist. So, land is everything the earth gives us, minerals, gold, etc. And then finally, labor. Labor is what we do. We provide our labor, and without our labor, businesses can't operate. So, those are the four factors of production, or the resources, that businesses need. Okay. Now, important facts here. Households own the factors of production, and my acronym for the factors of production is cell. Okay, cell like a cell phone, and you can see capital, entrepreneurship, land, and labor. So that's how you can remember those things. Okay, households own them. Businesses need them. Okay, so households are going to supply them to businesses. So let's move on to the circular flow model. Okay, this is a very simple circular flow model and it's pretty much what you really need to know. We can add government, we can add the rest of the world, but it doesn't change the model very much. So we're going to go with a simple one for now. Okay, we have two markets. You can see I've listed households here and I've listed firms. So here's firms or businesses, here's households. Okay, one of the markets that exist is what we call the resource market. Okay, here's the resource market. Okay, it can also ref be referred to as the factor market. Okay, factors of production, resources, means the same thing. Okay, so there's the resource market. The other one's the product market. That's where what we want. We want products. We like to have fun stuff, and we want products. So let's think about this, okay? Who did I say owns resources? Okay, households own resources. So households provide resources. And those resources, we're going to write cell here, which stands for capital, entrepreneurship, land, and labor. Okay, then these th through the resource market, firms acquire them. Now we're just going to call them resources. Okay, so two names for the same thing, resources... Okay, two names for the same thing, but households provide these resources through the resource market, and the resource market could in, be anything. It can be eBay, it can be a business market, whatever, whatever connects households and firms. Okay, now what do firms do? And you notice these are all products, they're all things. Okay, well firms provide to the product market, they provide what we call goods, which are tangible objects. And services, which are intangible, services like haircuts or whatever, okay, all services, those are things we want. We go to the product market, which might be Walmart or might be the Internet or whatever, and there's goods and services again. So you can see we've completed the circle with stuff, okay, all of this is stuff. We start with sell, capital entre entrepreneurship, land and labor. All stuff, that's also called resources through the resource market. Firms get those, they put all this stuff together, and they turn them into products or services that households want, and so you can see it's a circular flow. Now, this stuff isn't free, okay? 
how do we pay for this stuff? Okay. Well, households get, you know, they want to be paid for capital. Well, the, the payment for capital is interest. We call it interest, okay? And, you know, you think about borrowing money or whatever. You're going to build a factory. You need to borrow money. You pay interest. But the income from capital is interest. The income from entrepreneurship is profit or loss. In other words, an entrepreneur or a business wants to earn a profit. Sometimes they earn a loss. The income from land, well, if you want to use my land, what am I going to charge you? Rent, right? So the income from land is rent. And if you want my labor, you're going to have to pay me wages. Okay, so the income from labor is wages. Okay, now, what do firms call this? Okay, what are they getting here? They're providing resources. What do they pay? They simply call it costs. Okay, firms have costs. Okay, now we're getting products. Firms get paid for goods and services. What do they call that money they get paid? Well, they refer to it as revenue. And then what do we refer our payments? Well, we, we're going to just call them purchases. Okay, you'll also purchases, If hopefully you can read that, purchases or expenditures or payments, whatever. But you can see, here we show, and I'm going to change color here real quick, but you can see around here, we've shown all of the stuff go all the way through the circle, and all this stuff has to be paid for. Here we show the payments go all the way around the circle. Now realize this, this circular flow doesn't have to look like this. Households could be on the opposite side and firms, so could firms. The resource market, instead of being on top, could be on the bottom. The stuff could be on the inside circle. The income, the payments could be on the outside circle. In other words, it can be done any way you want. What you need to remember is that households own resources. They own sell. So if you can remember that, that gives you your start, and then just follow the stuff all the way through the circle. Then the other circle, the other the opposite circle is going to be the payment for that. And once again, just follow it through and make sense of it. So the big thing you need to know is households own resources. So households own resources. The resources go to businesses. Businesses take those resources, turn them into goods and services, which end up with households. And likewise, the payment goes backwards. And you just need to know the payments. And remember, sell, capital, entrepreneurship, land, and labor is paid for via interest, profit or loss, rent, and wages. That's it for this time. See you next time.